this man. Uh, Mossberg 500, most sold gun ever, and uh, most crimes committed with it. <laughs> really? And uh, this here uh, AR-15 with 24-inch barrel and other extras, and that's just a 380 auto, a little backup. Hey, uh, this is George for Title. We're in Eugene, Oregon, or actually the hills of Eugene, Oregon, out in the forest. We're visiting um, our buddy's farmland. He's going to shoot some guns. And I just noticed uh, the clear cutting that's going on here. And you know, you look at it, and it's, you know, it's pretty shocking at first. But you know, Aaron, you had some good, you had a good explanation about it. I mean, what, what's the benefits of doing clear cutting like this? Well, from from everything I know about it, you know, it, it is pretty much farming of uh, timber of trees. And when uh, you cut down all the trees like this. And then you have the uh, open space here so the, uh, the light can come in and you plant these uh, trees all at the uh, same age. Well, they're all going to grow together like you can see there. And so they're all... They're all so off in the distance right there, these are uh, new trees that have been planted. And these are the older ones right here. Right? That, that, that patch yeah, right there. Yeah, definitely. Because you, you do it in a section so you always have... Uh, trees at, uh, that you can cut down for uh, wood. And a lot of people would say, hey, thin, you need to thin it. Thing is, yeah, with the thinning though, you wouldn't have the trees growing at the same rate, so they wouldn't be getting as much sunlight, so uh, and actually you wouldn't be putting on, or growing the same amount of wood as you would with them all uh, getting the abundance of sunlight. You couldn't replant a tree in the middle of a, a dense forest like that. It's not going to grow. Okay guys, we're here in the uh, mountains out in Eugene in the distance. Here's some clear cut logging. Looks pretty harsh here, bro. But you're saying there's some positive aspects to it. Yeah, this is, this is real new. Uh, you can even see the uh, piles of um, um, excess uh, timber there of just limbs and such that'll be burned. And probably in a different season, it's getting to be too close to summer now. But um, this is real fresh. But Eventually, you'll get real nice grass growing in there, uh, even before the, uh, of course, the trees are large enough to uh, uh, kill it off because of the lack of sunlight. But what you'll get with that grass is a uh, more uh, plentiful uh, deer and elk population. You know, they don't want to be in that thick grove of timber there because, you know, you don't have the nice grass. So they really like to be in open areas like this. and. Uh, and this helps. So when you clear cut, it actually helps the deer population. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Nope. Here, we haven't seen, uh, we've been driving up these roads for about half an hour now. We haven't seen one other car. And, you know, if you're a typical tourist, this is something you'd never come to. But this is where it's at. This is the true freedom, the uh, real true sights of nature here. They're growing pretty healthily. Yeah, growing season. Aim that way. Yeah, that's fine. That was fun, actually. <laughs> that was getting fun. Here we are, George AR-15. things right yeah cool I don't know if you guys can see that but we were just out shooting and this is I don't know if you guys can even see how beautiful this is we're just driving right through the middle of the forest and it's just beautiful we're in here. just talking about life and we're talking about what are we gonna do our career we were both in careers that may not be around anymore you know me in the construction real estate side and there may not need, be a need for new construction in the future. So we're just talking about what we're going to do, you know, how we're going to survive, how our careers are going to change. And uh, it's just interesting just seeing all this nature around us. Huge commodity here, wood. They're what? Renewable uh, and it's resource. A, it's a renewable resource. What can we use wood for? We're all going to help each other. Americans aren't going to let Americans starve, I don't think. Uh, so as you guys hear these stories of economic collapse and struggling and people living out of storage shelters, and you know, 
try to be, try to have love in your heart because that's what's going to happen with this country. You start putting people in boxes and telling people they deserve that or Californians deserve this or, you know, if, if you have that in your heart, we, we're not going to, we're not going to help each other. So I think we all need to come together. That's my thought. It needs to be free freedom, but also at the same time, we need to care about our community. We're not going to just be a lone wolf, you know, out in the middle of the forest being self-sustainable. No, no. We're going to have to work within a, a locally based economy or, a, you know, be plugged in somehow. That's my thought. I mean, look at this. We, we see these type of people all over the place just living in low, little, little gardens. Look at that. Garden. Gardens all over the place, you know. They just live in manufactured home, low um, impact housing, you know, not huge, huge development, not huge, huge landscape yards. I mean, this, look at this. This is the future. This is what your yard needs to look like, right? Very low maintenance. Okay, the best thing I like about Oregon, besides all the greenery, 0% sales tax. Except if you, you can't buy your car here? Well, I'm just saying, uh, you, a Californian, can't come up here and buy a car and think you're not going to pay a sales Why? tax. Because you're evading your state's tax. I just noticed they are watering all the wood there to keep it from splitting, I guess, right? Yeah. Typical wood production here. And they're down to, what, four days? Yeah, we just talked to someone that says this mill here is only working uh, a day shift of four days a week. And usually, you know, you'd be working seven days a week, a day shift, and uh, graveyard and swing. Uh, so here they are watering the uh, the wood, which is kind of interesting. I didn't know they water wood to yeah. keep it wet. Yeah. Well, the, keep, yeah, keep it from splitting, and it helps uh, so the bugs so it won't dry out, so you won't get bugs. Hey guys, just to let you know, I'm in Eugene, Oregon, and I'm gonna be on Blog TV for about 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes to give you an update, but I'm also gonna be at Taylor's. It's a... Uh, on uh, East 13th uh, on University of Oregon campus there. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in about an hour, so if you're in Eugene, Oregon, you wanna hook up, just let me know. Just be at Taylor's in about an hour or two.